The fashion world changes all the time. You can even see the approaching revolution in clothes. You can see and feel everything in clothes. Mrs. Vreeland really brought us into a modern period and knew that fashion and the world were on their way to something much more global. I wasn't a fashion editor. I was the one and only fashion editor. She saw things in people before they saw it themselves. She celebrated Barbara Streisand's nose. She would say, push their faults, make it the most beautiful thing about them. Diana was just so far ahead. I mean, it wasn't just about fashion. It was about art. It was about music. It was about society. It was all woven together. She was becoming a celebrity. She was at the factory. She was at Studio 54. I wanted to get where the action was. She would spend the evening with Warren Beatty, Angelica Houston, Jack Nicholson, and Cher. They were wonderful. They were so charming. Freeland inspired them. She had a very strong impact on them. She made it okay for women to be outlandish and extraordinary. She would fix her gaze on somebody, and then they'd start to blossom. Oh, I adore Twiggy. She's just such a personality. The first picture ever published of Mick was with Freedom. Those lips. Isn't Mick right? All these people invented themselves. Naturally, as the editor, I was there to help them along. She would say, you're not supposed to give people what they want. You're supposed to give them what they don't know they want yet. She was about ideas and about the magic of fashion. There's only one very good life, and that's the life that you know you want, and you make it yourself. Vision! Vision! Vision is the word I just wanted to talk about her. She had a vision. Did I say that already?